Hey everybody, my name is Kadem Moir. Welcome back for our very first uh, C uh, video about this new series that we're about to do. I'm gonna get it eventually. Uh, franchise Hockey Manager, the sixth one. Um, I know I said uh, on the poll, I put up a poll uh, yesterday as I'm talking. Put up a poll yesterday about if you want, you guys wanted me to continue Empire Total War and or not and you guys told me to play a new game basically so then i pulled up a second poll where i showed a bunch of different games and in there was nhl 20 which was the one you guys voted for uh for franchise mode but i was trying to do a video on it and i wasn't really feeling it uh, to be honest, there's the new system, the whole, the, how it works and everything confuses me so much, uh, franchise mode, it's a bit complicated. And this right here, this game, is basically the perfect, it's a PC game, uh, you guys gotta, uh, you gotta uh, take it. If you like, guys like a NHL, and you like to control everything, this is perfect. You control literally everything, you got the, the coaches, you got the... Uh, Everything you can possibly think of, right? You got it. Uh, you don't control the arenas, though. I don't think so, but you got everything. This is the perfect game. It's the newest one that came out. Uh, I've played it a couple of times, and I like uh, playing a lot, which uh, the, the mode that's called New uh, Historical Game, right? So, Historical Game, you can play from any year. I'm going to show you quick. So, all the way from the beginnings of the NHL at 1917, all the way down at uh, the latest year they've got 200, uh, 2018. You can play for so far away, boys. That's crazy. So I wanted to do this because it's really fun. You get to play with players. You get to control players uh, that you've never probably ever heard about before, like really big time historical players a long time ago from the beginnings of 100 years 150 years ago you get to play with these players and i want to do it i really want to do it so that's what i'm going to do instead of franchise mode uh, i'm going to do this it's basically the same but better and i actually know what i'm doing so uh it's a way less complicated so we're going to start off in the very first year of the nhl boys at 19 in 1917 uh, we're going to do uh, historical expansion drafts. We're going to do them. We're going to do the expansion drafts. And uh, that means that we basically, uh, if there's a new team, there's going to be expansion drafts. Uh, draft rookies. So we are going to draft the rookies. They're going to be generated at age 17. So a bit earlier than usual, they're going to be generated, but that's fine. Uh, we're going to use the development, this one. Uh, because we could use this one, which uh, basically remakes how they were good, how good they were every year. But I prefer doing the old development style instead, better for us. Uh, initial draft, uh, rosters by draft, no. We can do random debut, which puts anyone from uh, the historical league, anyone that ever, ever played in the league can just pop off at any time, but I don't really like that i wanted to keep at least a little bit historical uh no career stuff we're gonna keep that off because i want to um i want to see the stats obviously a uh, league evolution now league evolution if i disable that means that uh, i can modify the league myself completely at free will but i'm gonna keep it off because i want the league to evolve with the new teams and everything i want the new teams to pop off so it is what it is Iron Curtain on, uh, Curtain Rule on, which means that uh, until the late eight, 1980s, we're not going to be able to get any Russians or any uh, Eastern European people uh, on our teams. They're not allowed to play for the NHL. Uh, use end of season rosters. Uh, yeah, I guess. Uh, start as general historical GM. We're going to do that. We're going to start as an historical GM. All right, so here we go. We got challenge mode that we can uh, do, but challenge mode is basically the uh, hardcore mode, which is really tough. Uh, you cannot be a commissioner mode. You can't be anything, uh, really. I'm going to keep that off. I want to be able to be a commissioner to change the league and everything. We can choose to be a general manager only or a general manager and then a head, and then head coach. 
I kind of want to make it a little bit tougher on me. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to only be the general manager. I'm not going to be the coach. The coach, I'll let him do whatever he wants with the lineups and everything. However he feels like the team should play. That's it's going to be on him. Uh, I'm going to start with uh, the Montreal Canadiens. So we got four teams in total to begin with. These are the four original teams from the NHL, obviously. The Canadians, which are there until it's been like a couple of years now. Uh, the very first team ever of hockey, basically almost uh, 1909 that they were built. Uh, so it's uh, we're in 17. That means it's like uh, it's been like six years or something like that. About uh, six years that it is uh, uh, on right now. And these two t these teams are pretty much new. Uh, so we got the Wanderers as well, the Ottawa Senators, the original ones, and the Toronto Arenas, which eventually will become the St. Pat's, and then the Leafs. Uh, they went through various phases uh, over the last uh, over their history. So we can also go into the Pacific Coast, which is the uh, Canadian hockey uh, play. So Portland, we got Seattle, and we got Vancouver boys. But I am obviously going to play in the NHL. Uh, I'm thinking going for Montreal, uh, the Canadians. Obviously, it's my own town. Uh, we've got all the good players in there. And these teams are not going to last too long. So I'm going to go for a team that is going to last forever. So I'm just going to go for the, the dynasty right here. I can't do anything about that. I, uh, I will do it so I can be fired. All right, so if they want, don't want me anymore, that's fine. We are going to start on the 1st of July, which is when you can start doing modifying everything. It's the only day you can modify everything. This we're going to keep. Let's go, boys. Jump right into it. And here we go. So that's what it looks like right here. This is what it looks like, basically. I can probably do that. Ah, it doesn't really work. The, the full screen doesn't work on this game, but that's fine. So... We got right here. Welcome to the Montreal Canadiens. Uh, George Kennedy is our G or our owner. We are, I guess, our coach, right? Our coach is also our captain, which is New Zealand. So he's our coach and our captain. And we've got uh, the best up and coming player. So our best rookie right now is Amos Arbor. So a bunch of names that probably you guys are not going to know anything about. But over the years, as we're going to come by, you're going to start knowing a lot of uh, a lot more players overall. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into options, commissioner mode, which means a lot of things. But first off, scouting, I don't want to do it. I'm going to leave it to assistant and roster moves all this. I'm doing this myself. OK, so we're good on that part. Uh, that's perfect. We're going to go in here. Set up options. Enable suspensions. We're going to enable the suspensions. Enable the injuries off because the injuries are pretty annoying in this game. So we're going to make that uh, put that off. The development. We're going to put it at uh, 27 years of age for the player peak age. And at 33 years of age for the physical peak age. Basically what it looks like in NHL 20. That's what it looks like. So there we go. We're going to edit the league really quick. So nine goals per year. Uh, that's what it says. But first of all, we're going to do, there's no free agency, no restricted free agents, whatever. Uh, we're going to do 20 uh, players, 23 players on the roster and up to 50 players you can have on your roster. Okay, so there we go. That's what I want. We're going to have 24 uh, games to start the first year. First ever year is 24 games. No playoffs. So we're going to do that right here. Uh, three overtimes. We're going to do five like that. Length of overtime. Penalty shots, five. Sudden death. Uh, no sudden death. Uh, overtime draw. It's good. Oh, actually, sudden death. I guess you can have one. Yeah. Uh, automatic suspensions. Five on automatic suspensions just so that there is some suspensions, but it's not OP, right? It's not overly repeated. We're going to get rid of all these little trophies right here that are don't they don't mean anything. So 
litigation, whatever. Let me see which one don't have a name. This one doesn't have a name. Okay. And I think the rest is fine. We also have the GM of the year award. So over here, we're going to put it. So it's 10.50. I'm always modifying by one. So there's even more goals, right? So 10 goals per game, almost that's going to be, they're going to have here. Uh, let's see, Ray Chris. The history is going to be completely rewritten, boys. There's going to be new legends and stuff. I can guarantee you that. Uh, rosters. Let's look at our roster and what our roster looks like right here, boys. This is what it looks like. Our best players are a New Zealand. Alone. Our captain, obviously, is a five star. So it works with stars, as you can see. This is the potential they can be eventually and this is what they are right now and that can all change every year every year it changes boys it always changes throughout the years and uh depending on how they play and uh so uh, yes age does something it does have uh something to say about it but it also it, they can also come back into a five uh, five stars eventually so New Zealand on Vizina, of course, or the trophy himself, George Vizina, and Joe Malone, the first, uh, the first one to, well, the, the one that had for the most uh, amount of years, uh, has the most goals for a long time in uh, one season. Joe Malone and uh, Dizzy Pitt is pretty good as well. The rest are pretty much, pretty much garbage. These are kind of like AHL players in our time right now, and the rest are an NHL play caliber, but. Like fourth line, third uh, duo, or whatever. First, uh, first round we got the draft order, so we're gonna get the te the second round. We only have two rounds, so uh, we uh, we get the uh, second pick every time. All right, so we gotta. I think I'm gonna have to sign a couple players here. Yeah, we're gonna have to sign jo uh, Joe Al. He's not interested right now. Fine. I think both of them are probably not gonna be interested. Yeah, I gotta wait. Uh, a set a. Or skip a couple of days before asking them so what do we need right now we need uh what do we have any players on our minors we don't have any players on our minors so we need one goalie we already have our three left d's uh we need one right d two left three uh, left wings we can actually you know what there's plenty of players in here right here so I'm just going to go ahead and switch him. Mm -hmm. uh, we need two left wings, one with a right wing, and uh, one right D and a goalie. All right, taking a look at that, boys. And a free agency center. So here's the players that we can actually get right here, which is pretty good. Uh, I'm actually going to do restricted free agents as well. Everyone, I want to see everyone. We got a good potential guy in uh, Duke Keats right here that we could possibly potentially get would be pretty good. But we do have Dick Irvin and Splague, a uh, Sprig Claghorn, the uh, two uh, Claghorn brothers are pretty good. Um, I'm actually gonna pick. Well, he's a lefty, so I'm not gonna pick him up. I'm not gonna cheese it. Uh, right D though, Eddie Carpenter. We're gonna pick him up. We need uh, a right D, so he's a two star. So if he's a two star, what I'm going to do, he wants two year, uh, three years. I'm picking him up at uh, only a uh, two year deal, two year deal for you, buddy. And uh, it's going to be so since he wanted one million, I'm going to give him the two mil. There we go. That's perfect. There's no salary cap or anything, so I can do whatever I want. I cannot get the curve and we already have maximum amount of centers or whatever. We do need um, I believe we need the right wing. Yeah, we need two left wings and a right wing. So, uh, spread Claygorn or Odie Claygorn. Absolutely. I'm going to pick him up over Broadbent, boys. You can see the offensive. Broadbent is better, a better offensive player. But Claygorn has more potential right now, as of right now, at least. He has more potential, but yeah, Broadbent is better. He's a better offensive player. I'm going to pick Broadbent then. He's a, a 2.5, so yeah, I'll give him the maximum. He, I'll give him the, the years he wants to have. And actually, to make sure that he does sign with us, I'm going to give him a little bit more than he wants. There we go. We need two left wingers. Uh, Nichols could be a good one, so we're just going to pick up Nichols right here. We do have George Ensworth, as you can see right here, as an option. We're definitely going to pick him up. George Ensworth is going to be our backup for sure. 
Uh, let's uh, pick him up for the maximum amount of years. I'm going to pick him up for 3 million, actually. There we go, buddy. Definitely going to accept that. Uh, Nichols, you're going to have to come by. We need two left wingers. That's all remaining right now. Not good enough. So I'm only going to sign him for a one-year deal uh, at uh, 3 million. Uh, there we go. So that's that. And uh, last, last time, I think I'm just going to go for Graham or Kerr. I'm going to go for Graham. There we go. Let's go for this guy. So Graham, you're not go really good. So I'm just going to go for one year and uh, three million or three mil. Uh, or there we go, basically. We got a bunch of prospects though. So one thing we want to do is take a look at the prospects that potentially could play with us. Bill Cook, look at Bill Cook. 4.5 potential, so really good potential. He can really help us out. Uh, he could be a really big time prospect for us. So uh, I'm thinking I would definitely want to go for him. He's already uh, he's ready to play in the NHL though. He's ready to play. That's the thing. But uh, we could snack these guys up really quick. Oh, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to snack these guys up. I mean, they they could be really valuable players for us. I'm definitely gonna sign you, buddy, uh, for a two-way deal. Actually, uh, there we go. Sign you for a two-way deal, uh, like that, because he's not if he's not on his full potential you can sign him for a two-way deal that's gonna save us some money and uh, Frederickson you're gonna be a good player too so I do want you as well to be in there three years three years two-way deal same thing right there same amount of money there we go okay so that's done we're just gonna wait it out one more turn we're gonna skip a, a day here and uh, wait for things to happen actually before we do that the next thing we need to do, it's all this is what the game is all gonna be about. Micromanaging every time, boys. So you're gonna see. Uh we got a really bad goalie coach. Uh well not bad, but not good either. Uh this guy right here. So Mitch Kant, Mitch Kant, where is he at? Mitch Kant, we're gonna release you because he's not good at all. So we need an offensive coach. All right, boys, so I got my three coaches or whatever. I got Lester Patrick himself to do the defensive coach. It was uh, He's actually a really good one. Uh, offensive training, too, is excellent. Uh, Mitchell Callaghan, which is pretty fine. It's really fine. It's a great, great average good. And we've got Nathan uh, E. King for the trainer, which is great. So that's perfect for us. That's going to definitely help out our team. We've got some good coaches in here. Now we get definitely skip it uh, skip the day so skip the first day boys officially we cannot we're in the second of july that means we cannot modify the league anymore so it's going to be like i told uh, i uh, set it up uh, we got punch broadband carpenter everyone bill cook actually signed which is really good so we got we got everything we we wanted now we do have to assign the the numbers i'm just going to assign them to uh the closest that i can sign them to i guess Number five, you can't. So I'm going to put you at number 15, my guy. Number four, you can't. Number 14, you cannot. So number 19 for you, buddy. And he wants to be number one, but that belongs to Vizina. So you're going to be number 21. And number five, you can't be really that. So number 25 for you. And there we go. Now we, are, we have all of our players. We have all of our players. So if we take a look, our two goalies, there we go. So Leviathan still doesn't want to talk really quick. So here's what I'm going to do also. Every time there's every year, right? If the player doesn't want to talk or a player uh, doesn't want to sign back with me or if I'm not interested in signing him, I can actually, that's when I trade the players is off season is when I'm going to try the players that I only have one year left with us. So I only want uh, players with me that have contracts uh, remaining, uh, eventually contracts, right? Now, obviously, Nichols and, uh, and Graham and all this, I got them. Uh, probably should re-sign them really quick. Uh, re-sign for him for a couple of years. So, yeah, I think I'm going to just uh, re-sign you for two years. There we go. Re-sign you for two years, buddy. It sh that should be fine. There we go. Same thing for Graham, really. Just re-signing you uh, really quick for... Uh, he wants two years, uh, three years. I'm giving you three years. There we go. 
three years with that there we go that should do it and the rest well it's joel and laviola they don't want to sign really so we got we got the two goalies the the demons are good left wings are good centers we got one too many centers right now we did pick up uh frederickson which is uh i want to play him i'm not sure if i want to play in the minors or not no okay so he's gonna be or Rochin, i guess is going to be playing in the minors because Frederiksen is a really good uh, prospect and he actually is ready to play in the league already. So we're going to play him. And right wing Bill Cook is definitely ready to play in the league and he's definitely probably better, a lot better than Payer. Yeah, so Payer, you're in the minors as well. Perfect. So we got everything. We got our team right here. Uh, what I do want to look, okay, so we got our two assist men in our center. We're good for that. We don't need to change that. Next up, what we needed to do is transaction lock. Not really. Yeah, there's a couple players I need to sign. But first, we're going uh, next day. Uh, or next day. Where? Where's the next day? There we go. Uh, next day right here. There we go. So these two guys did resign. Perfect. Uh, per perfect for us. So we got them resigned. So now we only have to worry about uh, these two guys. We need to try and convince them eventually to sign with us. They just don't want right now. They don't want to talk at all with me. They don't have. They want to negotiate at all. So I'm gonna wait a little bit. I'm gonna wait a little bit. Eventually they're probably gonna want to talk because I need to resign them definitely, and I want to trade them right away. So let's just see really quick. Uh, so we're in the draft. The, the 3rd of July, I always know that this is the day we draft people. I'm pretty sure, right? We don't have anybody to draft. Stop picking. I think usually this is when we draft people, but I think this year we don't have anybody. I think there might be just nobody at all. Yeah, I think this year there's just nobody to draft actually, which is crazy. All right, so, all right, so we are skipping to the next turn. So restarting contract negotiations. All right, the two guys, Hall and Laviolette, they want to resign. They're open to it now. Good. So let me just go ahead and ask them what they want. He wants a no trade clause. Absolutely not. Uh, I'm not going to do that. He wants a one year deal only. I'm open to that, I guess. Uh, how many? How many years? 25, 35 years of age. He's not really that good. So yeah, one year deal could be perfect for us. So one year deal, uh, one more year. And I guess exactly what you want. It's not exactly what you want. So I'm going to give you a little bit more. There we go. And Laviolette, well, you're a big time player. You were there since the beginning for our team. So uh, same thing for you. Uh, one year deal should suffice. Perfect. That's exactly what he wants anyways. So give him that we're gonna skip a little bit until they accept there we go they both accept they re-signed with us we got all of our team they're all set up for the next year at least boys perfect and we got our two random players in the minors right here that's awesome so do, do we have anybody really in the free agency so looks like spread claygorn and irvin the two claygorns and irvin keats as well a bunch of good players really good players for the league are just not gonna play this year because nobody wanted to sign them apparently i'm the only one who signed uh players this year which is uh it's fine let's just go ahead until the next season the beginning at least uh of the next season so let's uh let's skip forward so september is usually when i decide to modify it a little bit but the preseason is really far away still so i'm gonna go until the preseason all right, so the preseason is in 10 days now. I've skipped. It doesn't take a long time to skip. You just completely press continue. It skips you a, a lot of days, a lot of months. So December 1st, in uh, 10 days, it's the preseason. Uh, things we need to do, the lineups, obviously, right? So obviously, I already have my own coach. Oh, I forgot about my... I don't have my coach. Yeah, I forgot about that because I'm on the general manager. I don't have a head coach. I got to take a look at that really quick. So we got to see for a, a coach right here, boys. What could be the best coach possible right here? Let me see really quick. Uh, job ratings. So coach, I want an excellent coach right here. Uh, let me see. Uh, any any coach whatsoever that would be good for us, I guess. 
All right, so I found a perfect candidate right here to be a coach. Sean Eidvitt. He's uh, poor on goalie-wise, but that doesn't matter too much. He's very good, average, average, above average, great, good. So he's average everywhere, which is uh, what I was looking for. I don't want anyone... I, I just didn't want a player that... Um, I didn't want a coach. I'm going to sign him for three years. I didn't want a coach that... Uh, basically what's going to have any uh, types of lows in his thing so let's look at his resume this is what it looks like it's pretty decent overall everywhere so he can definitely uh, be a good coach overall so now we can get ready uh assistant dress players so he's going to dress the players for me and the lineups i'm actually going to do the tactics first so tactics you got all the possible tactics in the world that initial has been uh, has used so I'm going to do strict positional, a dump in, absolutely not. I want to stay uh, balance attack and I want to do lane positioning, uh, torpedo, one, two, two wide, absolutely not. I'm going to do uh, two, one, two, uh, one, three, no, say two, one, two. There we go. Increases chance of getting a takeaway early in the breakout. Uh, there we go. And over here, it's man on man. There we go. Drop pass. Absolute. I hate drop passes. Uh, I want uh, swing. Overload for the power play. Absolutely not. The power play, I want it to be uh, spread. So good positioning, right? Pursue aggressively. Pursue aggressively for the power, power play defense. Uh, aggressive press. Over here, it's going to be aggressive box or setup. And counter attack, obviously. That's what I want. So that's exactly what I want, boys. So now that that is done, we can create the lines. Assistant create the lines. That's done. So that's the coach. The coach wants them uh, to play like that. I'm going to let him do whatever he wants with the uh, lineups. Uh, now Malone is a center, but he wants uh, Malone to play in the first line as a left wing. I'm fine with that, uh, really. I don't think it's a good idea because uh, over time, right, they become better. Uh, they're good, but they become left wingers and stuff. They do, you do play them as left wings. So he wants to play them like that. That's fine by me. Uh, I'm actually... Okay, so set up roles. There we go. You set up the, the roles up. You're all a bunch of danglers everywhere, but that's fine. So it's going to be Malone, Lalonde, and Pitt together. Berlinquette, Ona, and uh, Brodent, uh, Broadbent. And uh, after that, Bill Cook is on the third line. He's our big-time prospect right now. And these are the t our two superstars playing together with uh, a really good veteran. We can go ahead and uh, go straight forward. What I'm thinking about doing is here, I'm just going to do open and night because we're going straight for the, the, uh, the NHL itself or the league. So we got two uh, guys in the waivers. That's my two players. Uh, I've put them in the waivers, I guess. Doesn't matter too much. And the rest. Okay, so NHL season preview. Our first season looks like the, uh, it's going to be a close uh, one. It, App Holmes looks to be the best goalie by far of the league. We've got New Zealand alone, obviously. Uh, it's me. And I'm also playing. I'm also the best player of my team. And Joel Malone is here and all these players. So we got all these types of things. So it, it, it's pretty cool because they do give you a couple of uh, news every so often. I want to know if you guys want to see more. Uh, that was just a quick little test for you guys to see if you guys do enjoy that kind of thing. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I'll see you all for the next one. Keep it easy, boys.